Switching gears now, talking about agriculture, the use of controlled fires to prevent wildfires and meet other land management goals has dwindled in California, but there's suddenly new interest. Some landowners and public agencies are now attempting to revive this practice. The first prescribed burn association in the West formed in Humboldt County last year, and new associations are being created in other Northern California areas. The associations allow landowners to pool resources in order to manage those controlled burns. Dogs are being trained to detect bacterial diseases in some California plants. Canines trained to detect bacteria that can cause a fatal plant disease found signs of the bacteria in Ventura County citrus groves. And farmers have already begun removing those trees as a result. The detector dogs check citrus trees for the bacteria that causes HLB, which has killed trees around California residences, but has not been found in a commercial grove. After the dogs alerted to more than 200 trees, farmers agreed to remove them as a precaution and to prevent the citrus disease HLB from spreading University of California specialists recommend Southern California homeowners remove citrus trees within two miles of known HLB infections. UC created a web app so residents can enter an address and see how close they are to confirmed HLB outbreaks. At the same time, UC master gardeners recommend alternative fruit trees to replace those citrus trees in the affected areas. You can check the map on UC's Agriculture and Natural Resource website. A fish habitat project north of the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta will proceed ahead as planned. That's according to an announcement from a federal agency. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation says it will work with the State Department of Water Resources on a project to improve fish passage in the Yolo Bypass. The project is intended to allow salmon and sturgeon to move more easily in the Sacramento River during the winter season.